No, no, I don't indicate. It's not like you're legally bound or anything, Mr. Taxi Driver. Oh, he's a Mercedes driver. He doesn't have to do anything. He expects everybody else to do it for him. Oh, they do work. Well, there you go. Cheese head. Good evening, all, and how the devil are you? Just heading home from work. Uh, today, on my lunch break, thanks to the modern wonders of smartphones, I was watching some motor vlogs. I don't really like to watch them on my phone because the picture's too small. I like a big screen, but during a boring lunch break, it can be a nice little thing to do. Anyway, I was watching Mr. N.C. Stoney's latest video all about what job he does and how he got there. And he was asking, since we're all friends here, what the rest of us do. So I thought I'd do a wee response video. So basically what I do is I'm a picture framer. Nothing exciting or... Uh, Amazingly stimulating about the job, I'm afraid, but uh, it's a job, it pays the bills. And I've actually done that all my work, right? All my work in life, really. Um, started off with a, an after school scheme uh, where I was putting a placement. Uh, it was a three tier thing at a, an art centre in Newcastle, Pontine. Um, the first tier was ceramics, making floor tiles and the like, handmade stuff, not, you know, manufactured. Uh, that was boring as hell. Did nothing for me, that. Uh, the second stage was working in an artist material retail store. And as you can imagine with the SAD, that didn't really go down too well with me. Didn't like that at all. Wanted out there as quick as possible. Uh, and the third stage was picture framing. Now I'm quite good with my hands, always have been, and uh, got into this job and took to it straight away. And was just plodding along nicely and it suddenly hit me like a sledgehammer out of the back of the head that um, once this scheme was finished, I was back out on the street and I would have to look for another job I have to go through the door and all the all that hoo ha, and um, that scared the living crap out of me. Like I say, with the SED, so I made a conscious decision there and then that I was going to be as good at this job as I possibly could be, and I was going to get myself a full-time job at the end of it. I just just decided, and as I say, Stony says. You know, learn everything you can about the job and make yourself indispensable. And basically, that's what I did. And at the end of the term, I was given full-time employment. I was quite chuffed about that. So I was there for... Actually, it was the very first job. I can't actually remember how long I was there for. Uh, three, five years, something like that. It was okay. It wasn't too bad. I learned me trade, put it that way. And uh, every job since has been a picture frame job. Uh, I moved from there to a privately run uh, little place, which uh, an artist that I knew put together, uh, offered me a job, had all these big dreams and desires and everything about this place. And I thought, oh, yeah, I can go for that. Biggest mistake of my life. What an absolute pile. Uh, he hadn't thought things out at all. Uh, and I don't think the place lasted more than six months. Which was a crying shame, but that's how it is, I suppose. Uh, and I could see the writing on the wall. So I started looking for another job in the meantime. And basically, just as 
that current job was drawn to a close, uh, I took an interview for another picture frame in place. Um, they took me on straight away, which was quite gratifying. And I stayed there for around about nine years. Uh, after that, uh, well, near to the end of that, the, uh, the place changed hands. Ownership changed and the new owners, well, their ideas didn't really sit well with me and we didn't really get on that well, to be honest. So, parted ways. I walked straight into another job, bigger job, a uh, very large place where I ran the the Facebook picture frame and centre, part of the factory and the full showroom. I was managing the showroom, which was quite cool. It was a good job. Um, really, really brought me out, Michelle. It was actually very good for me when it came to the SAD, ironically enough. I suppose facing your fears and everything like that. Um, Again, uh, as N.C. Stoney says, uh, make yourself indispensable. That works, but uh, the other side of that coin is if you show yourself to be able to do everything and are willing to do everything, a lot of people will actually just sit on the laurels and leave you to do everything. Um, which is uh, what happened to me and it got a little bit too much I'll be honest so again sought out another job went from that job straight into another job the current job I'm at actually I've been here uh, um, what, 12 13 years now but again it's the same thing you show yourself to be capable and willing and everything ends up being put on you to do and initially you don't mind because you know you're enthusiastic and what have you but after 13 years you know it gets a bit old and it's not that I'm disgruntled about the job or anything I'm not really I think I'm just so used to it I've been doing it over 30 years picture framing that is I've seen it all and done it all, and it's just, it's a little bit stale. Uh, I need a complete nut of change, which is why, as I mentioned in a previous video, uh, that I'd like to move into to something to do with motorcycles. Uh, that job that I did mention in, the, in a previous video, uh, motorcycle sales opportunity, that actually that job is actually still up for offer uh, and I do have it in my head to actually try for that job eventually at some point and I just think a complete not a change for me uh, as I say you know face your fears I mean motorcycle sales you're dealing with customers day in and day out uh, that's a huge fear of mine but face your fears and it does you good uh, I've been in a situation before and it did do me a huge, huge amount of good. So it'd be good to to get back to that again. It'd be great to start a job from the ground and work up again. Something to learn. I've got nothing to learn in my job now because I know it all. But that's not being big headed at all. It's just I've been around for so long you can't help but end up knowing it all. So anyway, that's me. I'm a picture framer by trade, but I'd like to be a motorcycle sales representative. <laughs> anyway, there you go, Mr. N.C. Stoney. Thank you very much for the, the vlog suggestion. That's your response for you. I hope that was okay. I'm just about home, so I'll see you ta-ta for now, and I'll catch you next time we're on the road. See ya.